Today, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Avak Nazarian, on the issue of Armenians of Western Armenia, Baku blocked with a concrete fence, the only road connecting Artsakh with Armenia. We cannot allow indigenous peoples and European Christian heritage to be erased from Artsakh's paradise land, Armen Gevorkian. The Armenian heritage of one is preserved by the efforts of dedicated Armenians. Western Armenian culture, Kesabian dance. Let's support Western Armenia television. At the end of each year, Avon Nazarian's father was photographed wearing medals. Every year the medal increased, mostly gold. From boxing competitions, Avak did not return without a medal. The last time medals were awarded posthumously. The medal of the Battle Cross of the First Degree and the medal for courage was brought home by his father. Avak Nazarian was an Armenian boxing champion. His father, Artur, who was also a boxer, had trained him since childhood. From the age of 10, Avak participated in competitions winning victories. On July 6, 2020, he entered the Institute of Physical Education. A day later, on July 7, he was called up to the army. His father offered to postpone his service for six months until the winter draft, but Avak refused. He decided to complete his military duty first and then continue boxing, aiming to raise the Armenian tricolor of international competitions. Avak served as a sniper and scout in Jeragan. Interestingly, his great-grandfather on his father's site was a famous scout. It is said that the great-grandfather was one of the Andranic soldiers. He had been captured by the Turks several times, but miraculously escaped each time. The Turks called him Zhenjil Katro. Despite his strong and determined character, Avak was not a bully. He was reserved, calm, and didn't allow himself to be defeated. According to his aunt, not a single day during his military service did they hear any complaints for discontent from Avak. He had served for over two months when the war broke out. The family believed that recruits would not be directly involved in hostilities, but Avak never mentioned that they were already on the front line from the first hours of the war. The last time Avak called his family was on October 12, when he was in Hadrut. A couple of days later, one of his comrades in arms called and informed the family about a drone strike. His relatives couldn't believe it, and they couldn't find his body. There was hope that he had been wounded, and for a month his father searched for him him in all the hospitals and morgues. On the morning of November 21, their last hope vanished. The person on the other end of the phone confirmed that the DNA match had been found. The forensic examination showed that Avo had died on October 15. His father went to identify his firstborn and only son. Knowing that Avo's pectoral cross had broken while training in the army, the cross was buried with Avo. Avo was laid to rest on November 23, just one day before what would have been his 90th birthday. Thursday on November 24. Western Armenia TV presents a column dedicated to the intangible cultural heritage of Western Armenia. Intangible cultural heritage refers to customs and traditions recognized by societies, groups, and in some cases individuals as an integral part of their cultural heritage. It encompasses various aspects of everyday life, rituals, forms of representation and expression, as well as knowledge and skills. It includes associated instruments, objects, works, and cultural spaces. Intangible cultural property refers to information related to folk, folklore, language, dialects, toponyms, the content of emblems and other national symbols, traditional crafts, national costumes, traditions, holidays, rites, social life, forms and rules of conduct, folk and economic activities, cultural aspects of livelihood, beliefs, cultural heritage resulting from scientific research, and intangible cultural heritage objects preserved by legal and physical entities. Preserving intangible cultural heritage is a key focus of the state's cultural policy in Western Armenia. In recent years, there has been a revival in this field, with indigenous people showing increasing respect, re-evaluation and reinterpretation of their intangible cultural heritage. This trend is evident in the growing activities of folk theater groups and the National Council of Western Armenia, which actively engages in heritage preservation through numerous programs and diverse activities. The current state policy of Western Armenia is aimed at preserving, protecting and promoting promoting this fair. It is based on the Constitution of Western Armenia, the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People, and international conventions, including those established by UNESCO. 
On June 22, the Baku authorities carried out another provocation and criminal action by blocking the only road connecting Artsakh with Armenia. This information has been reported by the Artsakh Information Headquarters. In addition to illegally setting up a checkpoint and blocking the road with armored vehicles, Baku is now openly obstructing any movement on the road, including for vehicles belonging to the Red Cross and Russian peacekeepers. This incident once again highlights the malicious intention of the Baku authorities, which are aimed at completely isolating the people of Artsakh from the outside world and employing all methods of repression. Statement of the RANA delegation pays keynote speaker on local and regional authorities at June 22 session of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe is published on the official website of PACE. The statement reads, Mr. President, I am speaking today so that in the future no one will say, how do we know? Because of the obvious inaction of many governments, civil society groups and political circles in democratic Europe, the authoritarian Baku regime is quite openly and almost daily creating conditions for the Armenian population of Nagorno-Karabakh that makes civil life impossible. Today, 120,000 Armenians in Artsakh are de facto isolated from the civilized world and under the threat of extermination. We cannot allow the indigenous people and the European Christian heritage to be erased from the heavenly land of Artsakh. The historical heritage of Armenians in Artsakh is indeed the patrimony of the whole humanity, the Christian European civilization, isn't it? Moreover, the famous representatives of my people, such as Charles Navur, Henry Varn, Noigalus, Gülbenkian, Giorgio, Armani, the Armenian Catholic Mekhetari's Congregation of Venice and Vienna and others have created and continue to create a heritage that belongs to Europe. Mr. President, let me give two main reasons for voting in favor of this resolution and proposals. First, it clearly demands that the Baku authorities end the 170-day inhumane blockade of Artsakh and fulfill their international obligations. Secondly, the recommendation takes into account the unacceptable language and rhetoric used by the Baku leadership against Armenians, which I hope the Committee of Ministers will accept. Dear colleagues, for years we have been stating Baku state policy is aimed at ethnic cleansing and spreading hatred and discrimination against Armenians. This is now evidenced by the UN Court. This is why it is important for our organization to avoid inaccurate and historically incorrect statements, which may represent Artsakh as a part of Azerbaijan and the future of this region as its internal affair. Dear colleagues, throughout millennia, Armenians have been preserving their national dignity and identity. We have witnessed the collapse of many other empires and ethnicities, and this time we will be able to overcome the challenges my nation faces. I hope so and with your support. After the genocide perpetrated against Armenians in Western Armenia, most of the buildings reflecting the history and culture of Armenians in one were destroyed. Only a few historical buildings have survived, and in some cases, only the walls remain. Living in Artamet, considered the heart of one Armenian, Ibrahim Iham diligently works to preserve the houses built before 1914 and the 600 to 700 years old trees. In the early 1900s, the historic buildings of one were mostly located to the east of the one fortress. A large part of these buildings was destroyed after the forced deportation of Armenians, leaving them defenseless. Following the earthquake in 1 in 2011, multi-story and illegal buildings were constructed on the sites where Armenian houses once stood. Recent urban transformations and false urbanization have also contributed to the destruction of Armenian historic buildings. Ibrahim Milham, a journalist of 32 years, has devoted his life to protecting disappearing historic buildings and cultivating historic vineyards. A Apart from the houses left by his grandparents, who lived in Artamed before 1914, there are trees and agricultural items that are approximately 700 years old. In an interview with a local newspaper, he stated, before 1915, my grandparents lived here and built houses, living as a large garden. I tried to keep their memory alive. This year, I planted around 300 varieties of fruit trees from the Urartian period and other varieties. I have preserved 20 to 25 varieties of apple trees known as Artamedi apples, aiming to pass on the legacy of the Aradian kingdom and our grandparents to the next generation. Memory Book introduces various traditional Armenian dances preserved in Armenian communities in the United States. For this program, Memory Book collaborates with a number of Armenian dance specialists who have prepared dance bars for each dance. The members of the group are Karolin Rapkiev, Jan Susan, and Kerilin Sinanyan and Robert Harutsunyan. Two dances from the Armenian village of Kesab in northwest Syria are presented. The combination of dances that Tom Bozikian learned in his years in the late 1940s from the 
Marquesa of Arminius of California. The character of the performance is a mixed dance with the leader on the right. The dancers hold each other's little fingers with hands in a W position. Dear compatriots, the state television of Western Armenia has been operating on the online platform for many years. Here you can learn about the rich historical, cultural and political activities of Western Armenia. Our television does its best to make Armenians living in different parts of the world aware of the events taking place in our occupied homeland. Eastern Armenia, Artsakh, Javakh and also gives them the opportunity to get to know each other better and learn more about defending our rights in international courts. Your support can further improve the efficiency and quality quality of our television activities. Stay tuned and we will provide you with fresh and interesting information. Remember that we do not do self-promotion. Together we can do more. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> 